Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Eddie Jennings from EJSLLC.com. This is another video in my series of practice sessions for the RHCSA exam. And this video is going to be about the objective under Operate Running Systems, Start, Stop, and Check the Status of Network Services. Before I dive in, I want to remind you this isn't necessarily intended to be authoritative information as I'm, I'm still in my learning process, but I believe what I'm giving you is, is fairly accurate. If you enjoy the content, make sure you click like on the video. Also, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell when you do, so you can be aware of when new content comes available. So this is going to be a relatively short video. Um, we're going to install the Apache service, so let me do that now. So go install, find the spell, HTTPD, Y. What? <laughs> uh, I'm sure those of you watching are going, what are you trying to do, fool? There is no command that's just install. Maybe try yum install, HTTPD. And there it goes. That should be done in just a moment. So. Um, checking the status and such of network services, this is going to be obviously using um, systemd and systemctl for this. And so I've, I've installed um, HTTPD and um, if I were to check the status of this service, if I wanted to do that, very simple command, systemctl status HTTPD. Technically I'd want to do HTTPD.service, but um, System CTL understands what I want and is saying that it is inactive and also mentions that, that it's disabled. Another way to, to check to see if a, um, if a service is disabled or enabled is system CTL is enabled HTTPD and it will tell you that, that, that it's, it's disabled. So in this dis disabled state what that means is that the service is not going to start at boot time. And if I were to enable this service, system CTL enable HTTPD, I have to feed it credentials because I'm not as root. Notice that it creates a symlink. And let's take a look at that symlink. Let's do ls l etc systemd. System multi user target once. Let's grep for HTTPD. There we go. And we see that there is HTTPD serv dot service that's within this folder, and that's a symlink to the actual HTTPD dot service um, where the unit configuration file actually lives. What this means is, um, is when we start the multi-user target, that multi-user target wants to also start all of these other services with it, including HTTPD dot um, service. So that's what the enabling is. What the enabling is doing is telling um, the, in this case, the the multi-user target that hey, when, when you when your target starts, we want to get these um, get this service started at, at the the same time. So let me clear this, and if I were to system CTL status HTTPD, still inactive because we haven't, we haven't actually started the service, but it is enabled. And then again, if I were to do the other way of checking is enabled HTTPD, that will return enabled. So to start a service, CTL start HTTPD, of course, it's going to ask me for my credentials because I'm currently not running as root. That's it. No error comes out. Systemctl status HTTPD. And we see that it is currently running. And it shows a few of the log files from, uh, from journal or log files, log entries from journal D. To stop a service, system CTL stop HTTPD. Again, it's going to ask for my credential. Ah, I had like what, two in a row before I fat fingered it? And then if I were to check the status again, it 
we see that it is inactive but still enabled so if I were to reboot my VM um, HTTPD will automatically start so one little thing I want to show you I'm actually going to disable HTTPD and I have to feed it the credential and we'll just verify that it is disabled so again with our CSA exam everything you need you do needs to be able to, to, to survive a reboot and so a way to enable a service and at the same time start the service you don't have to do two different commands you can do this little trick that's system CTL enable HTTPD and then we're going to add the dash dash now parameter feed it my credential and you can see it has made the sim link which we, we would expect when we're enabling a service and also if I were to check the status it is also running so you can use the dash dash now um, uh, parameter to be able to both enable the service and start it at the same time not a whole lot of, of, of stuff to the uh, stop start and check the status of, of, of network services um, is basically system CTL and status enable disable start or stop depending on what you're wanting to do with the service so if you found this video useful please click like on it also um, feel free to comment ask questions if, if you wish I'll answer to the best of my ability or as I say if I get something wrong feel free to comment about that so that way both myself and anyone else watching the video can learn don't forget to subscribe to the channel ring the bell when you do thanks for taking the time to watch and I'll see you the next time